Okay guys, today saya akan buat video pasal uh, dalam topik redox. Saya akan buat topik redox. Di mana video ini akan dalam dua bahasa. I will do it in a bilingual BM and BI. Uh, ini adalah subjek chemistry for Malaysia syllabus chemistry. Okay. <coughs> So guys, let's start eh. Actually, redox is actually sangat related. It is interrelated with the topic that you have learned earlier. Which is, it is related dengan electrochemistry. Dalam electrochemistry, we are too used to it. Kita dah belajar perkataan-perkataan seperti <coughs> electro Lysis. Okay, therefore, guys, in this particular chapter, in this particular chapter, we are still going to learn those stuff. We are going to learn those keyword, tetapi in much detail. In this particular topic, you still will learn seperti anode, cathode, cation, anion. You will learn semua itu Persamaan setengah Persamaan ion Semua tu kita tak terlepas Jadi I will say Ini But we will learn In much detail First of all guys Apa tu redox From the word itself yeah, Redox Is actually from two word It is from two word It is Red ox Which is stand for Reduction And oxidation, oxidation. Maka dalam BM, in BM, uh, in the BM, the reduction and re uh, oxidation is actually ini adalah reduction bermaksud penurunan dan pengoksidaan. Maka <coughs> I very used to, uh, I will always remind my student, you want to memorize all uh, this one, redox. Saya selalu ajar student saya, ingat macam ni. You have oil rig. Oil rig. Apa maksud oil rig? Remember guys, oil rig stand for oxidation is lose electron. Reduction is gain electron. That's why we call this as a oil rig. Apa tu pengoksidaan dan penurunan? <coughs> pengoksidaan adalah dia mendermakan elektron. Dia buang ataupun dia kehilangan elektron. Kalau kita cerita <coughs> pasal uh, this one, uh, reduction, dia bermaksud dia menerima elektron. Oxidation and reduction. So, this is a very basic, yeah, guys. Always remember, redox adalah reduction and oxidation berlaku serentak. Dia berlaku serentak. So, dia... <coughs> There are a few things. Okay, you must remember, it's uh, all happens simultaneously. Okay. So this is the one lah. So, now I'm going to proceed to the next part. <coughs> so, more to the equations, yeah. In reduction, contoh, saya bagi contoh yang paling senang to better understand. Eh. <coughs> Katakan, eh, you have Na. The electron arrangement of Na adalah 2,8,1. 2,8,1. And since this is not stable, dia tidak stabil, dia akan bertukar <coughs> menjadi Na+. Plus. Stand for... Na plus stand for, dia telah jadi 2, 8. It's donated one valence electron. One valence electron. <coughs> Therefore, it become like this. What I'm trying to say over here, okay, looking at this, this Na adalah dipanggil sebagai a neutral, a neutral atom. Apa maksud a neutral atom? What do you mean by a neutral atom? Kalau kita tengok this thing, okay, how many proton do I have? Ada berapa proton? Dia ada, dia ada 11 proton. And this thing ada 11 electron. 
Therefore, a simple mathematic guys, proton, this is a, a symbol as a P and the electron I give a symbol of E, proton positive and also electron negative. By looking at here, okay, by looking at this thing guys, simple mathematic, 11 positive plus with 11 negative, simple mathematic, when you plus together, you akan dapat a zero, zero. Therefore, this must be a zero charge. Sebab itulah dia dipanggil sebagai atom yang neutral. Atom yang neutral. Kalau kita tengok dekat sebelah sini pula, guys, dia telah dermakan satu elektron. It become, dia ada, uh, remember, ini dia derma elektron. Dia tidak ada kena-mena dengan proton. The proton for this one will be remain unchanged. 11 proton because you are donating electron. You are not donating the the, pro, uh, the electron in the system. You are donating the electrons. You are not donating the proton. So the proton will be remain unchanged. But now, sekarang ni, saya ada berapa elektron kalau kita tengok kat sini? Dia ada 10 elektron. Okay, let's do a simple mathematic. Il 10 positive plus 10 negative. 10 positive tambah 10 negative. Guys, you akan dapat a positive. Sebab itulah guys, this thing is positively charged. Okay, guys, saya padam sikit. Okay, that's why this is positively charged. Too big, yeah? Okay. So, okay. Okay, this is positively charged, no doubt. Okay, so this thing is positively charged. Okay, why? This positively charged element, this positively charged element is called as, ini dipanggil sebagai cation. Dia dipanggil sebagai cation. Apa maksud cation now? You should know. Cat ion bermaksud it have more protons than the electron. Electron. Okay. When I say a pro, uh, cat ion, so ions, it stands for it have more proton rather than the electron. Uh, what I'm trying to say over here, now this is the most important things. Guys, if you look, if I'm changing from Na neutral become Na plus, it is post it i do donate electron i lose electron guys i hope you still remember oil rig oil rig oil rig stand for oxidation is lose electron oh jadi here this thing they lose electron they lose electron therefore this the na0 become Na positive, it's undergo oxidation. Okay. Understand, guys? And it also can be reversed. It can be reversed. Stand for, kalau you are the positive, Na positive, you become 28, become 281, you are actually gain electron. When you gain electron, gain electron from the oil rig definition, it is a, it's undergo a reduction. Reduction. So, it's very important. I have learned something, which is for cation, cation, if you have zero charge, then dia jadi positive, it is undergo oxidation. Kalau dia positive and dia jadi negative, eh sorry, bukan negative, no sorry. From positive it becomes zero, positive becomes zero, it's undergo reduction. So guys, this is the most important part that you should know. So this is an important part. So I don't want to drag your time too much. This is the first part of the redox. I will do, saya akan buat lebih banyak video berkenaan redox in the next section. Please stay tuned. Kalau ada soalan, tinggalkan soalan dekat ruang komen dekat bawah ni. So, saya akan bagi 
uh, it's the open so, uh, as soon as possible on top of it if you can you also can follow my instagram for communication purpose the uh, dr hussein underscore chemistry so thank you so much for watching for the first part thank you Allah. Yeah.